All right, so this is um, with a lampshade on it, and it's basically it's basically an exciter. That's 30 gauge wound on there. It's a little CFL fluorescent. All right, so I'm using six volts. Alright, so there's a little indicator light showing that it's an oscillation. There's the bulb. Alright, so one cool thing is this um, usually starts up real nice. And it's basically got two components. It's got a uh, transistor, it's a 2N222 and a little indicator light it's an LED but other than that there's no um, there's no other components um, I've got a trigger coil here it's open-ended on one end where is that end? here it is somewhere in here there it is so this end it's not attached see that that end isn't attached. That runs to the base. So that's what's triggering the base. There's no resistor, there's no capacitors. Um, this is the primary. And then it's it's 30 gauge wound. It's nine inches high on PVC. So sometimes Sometimes it doesn't want to fire up, so I've got it hooked up and it didn't want to go. So you just touch those to the base to the positive. Your finger acts like a resistor. So with 6 volts it draws 157 milliamps. 150. And now we're going to try it with a little 9 volt. I haven't tried this yet, so it may blow up the may blow up the transistor. There, and that's that's a lot brighter on nine volts. My aim is to charge the battery with a common six volt solar cell mounted on this. So nine volts a little trickier. Um, might be able to find a 9 volt solar cell to charge this. But that's pretty bright on 9 volts, so it's, it's a little happier on that. And the transistor, not the least bit warm. Maybe slightly warm. Anyway, so I was inspired by Laser Saber's um, Super Jewel Ringer with just one transistor, and I, I wondered if this could be done. I think it needs the uh, little indicator light here. Haven't tried it without, but I think it needs this little indicator light, which is kind of nice because you know if it's um, in oscillation. 